A fake person doesn't care about the person they're talking to. A fake person doesn't have the knowledge to be able to implement information. Anyone can get information, but it's the implementation that's really important. So one of the questions that many people have asked is, how do you network without coming across as being fake? So here's just some of my top tips. The first one, you have to be yourself. You're not trying to be something that you aren't. And that's really important because people can, can see through you if you're trying to become a used car salesman. So in Australia, every used car salesman just comes across as someone trying to pressurise you to buy this product. Pressure, 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 pressure just to go and buy it. And, and that's the same if you're trying to, to, to network and you're trying to be fake. You try to come across as something that, that you aren't. So the first is to not try to be that, try to be yourself and understanding that, that you're there to try and help to serve others. And understand yourself first of what you want out of life, what, where you want to go with your business, what, what products that you've got to be able to serve people, what solutions have you got to be able to to be able to do that. And it's, and it's, it's, it's really important to, to understand yourself first before you start to, to do anything. Just as an example, I'm involved with a, a couple of different um, groups around the world. One is with the two, two comma program with ClickFunnels. And there's a lot of, there's about a thousand people within this program who, who've joined this program thinking that suddenly they were going to make a million dollars. And if they paid some money, they would, they would come along and suddenly there would be this explosion of, of information and that they would go out there and, and everybody would come, come to them because they had this, this, this information to be able to change people's lives. But they forgot that they had to work about it. They forgot that they had, there was a range of marketing processes to be able to make that happen. So it's... it's the, the quick fix was really important, that they, they thought that they may not have to work very hard to be able to make this happen. I saw that within uh, Junior Chamber of Commerce where we had this, this slogan, you know, come and join JCs and you become a, a leader for tomorrow. And people would come and pay their money and join this organisation and there was great people doing things and then they put their hands in their pocket and wait for this lightning to come and get them. This sudden lightning would, would change them into this leader for, for tomorrow but they didn't understand they had, had to work for it. So coming across as this fake person that, that suddenly um, in this network, if you come and join this net network, you'll be successful straight away, isn't what it's about. That it's working together, it's just making this, taking people on a journey, having an understanding of what their problems are. It's having an understanding, it's having that relationship, this two-way communication, building trust and respect over time that's, that's how you can um, build that network without being fake. And, it's, and it's, again, it goes back to that used car salesman. You don't want to buy a car, then to, you know, drive it across the lot and suddenly it breaks down. What you want is to be able to have that long-term sustainable business, that long-term sustainable relationship, that long-term sustainable trust and respect. So they'll tell their friends. And that's really, really important about um, not, not being a fake. The, the second one is about uh, again, it's about this solutions. It's about listening to, to people. So, so networking isn't just giving information from yourself. It's that listening and having that process to be able to listen to their to their problems, listen to their what they've done in the past, listen to all those challenges which they've got in their lives. Because the the problem may be not not that they've got the wrong information. The, the, the challenge may be they don't have the, the information on how to implement the, the solution that, that they've got. So the solution may be fine that they've got from someone else, um, but the challenge may be that they can't implement it, it, it properly. And, and certainly now there's this change from the information age, change from just having a website and giving people information, here's, here's a free book or here's a free PDF or here's, here's all this information on, on how to change a, a light bulb or no on not to implement it, but here's, here's information on what light bulb that you should have. But no one actually shows you or tells you that the little tricks and when you push up a light bulb, 
you know, when you change it, you've got to push it up a little bit first and turn it around and, and take it off or, or the type of ladder that you should have or how to do it safely, you don't stand on a table. All that implementation things isn't, hasn't been a, a focus for, for people. So if you as a, as a business can look to be able to, to move away just from that information stage and to, and to say, Here, here's the stuff, so because we've given this information, you, sh you should be successful, is to move it now into an implementation stage, then it shows you that, that you really know what you're talking about, that you're not being fake in the, that solution, that you care about how that consumer or that purchaser has, is, is using that, that information to be able to make that, make that change in their life, and that's, that's really important. Anyone can give information, everyone can write a book or PDF or, or whatever, but it's, it's having that, that caring feeling, which is really important. One of the, 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 the best ways to be able to appear not, not to be fake in their networking is to listen more, ask questions, really care about those answers which you get. One of the core sayings, one of the core things within, uh, within my life and in with, with my, my businesses which I've grown over the last 45 years is that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And you could be the biggest business in the world. But if you don't care, if they, people don't feel that you don't care about their problems, then your reputation goes. Who had a blue screen on their, on their Windows computer? I had one just last week. On my computer, a little blue screen came after a Windows update. I panicked, pressed the wrong button, all my information went. Do I care that Windows is the one of the biggest companies in the world? No, because they didn't care about my computer. They didn't care that I lost all, the, all, all my information. One of the biggest manufacturers in the world of airbags had a problem with an airbag. They had the biggest recall in, in history, all these millions of airbags all around the world. Did we care that they were the, the biggest manufacturer of airbags in the world? No. Did they have an airbag that killed people? Yes. So do we care? Their reputation is now gone. So reputation, caring about us as consumers is, is really, really important. Caring about you as a purchaser is really, really important. And that feeling of caring, feeling that you're listening, feeling that this solution will be a solution for you, building that trust and respect is really just really, really important. And that feeling of, of caring will change from that, that you just don't appear fake. A fake person doesn't care about the person they're talking to. A fake person doesn't have the knowledge to be able to implement information. Anyone can get information, but it's the implementation which is really important. So it's listening, it's having that uh, caring factor and being able to help you implement information. There are three major, major ways that, that you can appear not to be fake in the way that you bring networks together. I hope you really enjoyed this, this video. And if you want a deeper dive where I share some more information on how you can implement business tribes in your business or organization, grab the link below at businesstribes.com.